There are a number of ways that cities around the world have crafted housing policy over the decades. In Central Europe, up until the fall of communism in the 90s, the government literally granted you a house, and legally, there were no homeless people. If you lived in a city, oftentimes you were given a plot of land to garden in the countryside nearby. In the United States, a system of public housing developed, which saw many lower-income minority groups put into large housing estates without much further help. Private businesses had no incentive to cater to these people, unless trying to be predatory, and the income thresholds placed on residents meant they had little chance to escape poverty. Rather than investing in these places at a federal or a state level, the governments decided to kick the can to local authorities and leave them to rot, viewing these developments as a social blight. The approach by the city of Vienna was to create a mechanism to allow private developers to collaborate with the government in building housing stock, the government being the principal deciding factor in where, how, and when certain housing stock gets built within the city. An entire government body was set up to coordinate between the various cooperatives, developers, and the government in managing and owning buildings throughout the city. In exchange for this process, developers have to rent half of the units to lower-income members of society looking for a home. These new developments are typically in former industrial zones or areas where the city can be seen to grow naturally. This doesn't mean that the end doesn't have suburbs, just that they're not within the city itself or its immediate surroundings. The city doesn't the city doesn't restrict developers in terms of style and encourages them to experiment. If a developer wants to build a few luxury apartments for sale as penthouses, they are more than free to do so, as well as listing some units on the open market for purchase. Developments aren't limited to apartments. Many have a range of housing options in them, including single-family homes, three-story apartment blocks, and some shops. Unique to the system, from an American point of view, there is no cap on the money you can make while living in one of these buildings. When you first begin to rent, there is a threshold and a cutoff point, but it depends on your family, and once you begin to pay rent and build a life for yourself in that unit, if you make more money, wonderful. It makes it easier for you to pay rent. You're not getting kicked out anytime soon. Additionally, not all housing stock is privately held. The city of Vienna holds 220,000 units, and a number of cooperatives hold 200,000 apartments. This makes the city of Vienna one of the largest public housing managers in Europe. Not all housing is owned by the government, mind you. Only three out of every five houses in the city are subsidized and directly managed. The government of the city of Vienna has an incentive, similar to the government of Singapore, to see citizens live comfortable and happy lives. There is a sense of community built up over the decades as well by allowing people to rent regardless of their income. A person can come in without much money, basically poor, and build themselves a comfortable life while enjoying all that Vienna has to offer, without fear that they'll someday lose their house for making too much money. By contrast, in the United States, these income restrictions are tightly enforced to the detriment of residents trying to escape poverty. Where the United States has allowed public housing to be the burden of local authorities without experience, often burdened by death themselves, Vienna and many other cities have taken a di different approach to find better results. These results are such that they don't just lead to more interconnected cities, they lead to better job opportunities, better life satisfaction, better health outcomes. If you like this type of content, please feel free to subscribe for more. Thank you for watching. I'm going to be putting out more, a lot more content along similar lines in the near future. Would love to have you join our small but growing community. Thank you so much.